good so that folds down so that you can't see yourself in the mirror um you can just pretend to have a poo i suppose i don't i don't know what that's for so today uh, over at Gaelish we're going to have a look at a, new, a few new ones that have come in. The dog he still hasn't moved, he's still there. So we've got a few different bits and bobs coming. We've got a nice Euro Mobile 2017. So we're going to have a look inside of that in a minute. That's very, very nice. Got a new Bailey Unicorn Valencia. I say new, it's 2018. We have got, just hidden around this corner, we've got a Swift Elegance that's just come in. We have the uh, the shouse and we sold that a while ago. And we're waiting for parts to come in. So the customer had picked that up, gone used it, done what they wanted to do. And the parts have come in, so we've just done the bits on that. So we're going to have a look in the uh, Unicorn. Don't know whether you've seen in the big static. Um, so there's got the big static in there, so we might have a quick look in that one. The Celeste, I don't think we've had a look properly in that one. And then we've got a little Eldis Affinity 554 that's just come in as well. So we're going to have a, a quick look through these different ones, see what they're like. Uh, what you think, let us know in the comments. And then I think on Sunday's video, we're going to do a build update, the self-build. Um, so I think that's what we're going to be doing on Sunday's video, hopefully. Um, but this is the Unicorn Valencia. It's the 2018. It's got the motor mover on there. And then coming inside, it's just arrived. So not been touched, cleaned or anything as yet. So really, really nice layout, this one. A nice big sunroof at the front lets in loads of light. We've got the Aldi central heating, we've got the big fridge freezer, uh, lots of workspace. So we've got the little fold-up unit, obviously the fixed bed and all the storage underneath of there. And then into the back and we've got our separate shower and toilet. A nice washroom that is. Uh, I do like that washroom. That's... Um, sort of the vibe that i'm thinking that we're going to be trying to go for on the the self build maybe just slightly different configuration but um sort of what i'm hoping for is a big shower at the on the one wall um probably the toilet and sink in a slightly different configuration slightly because my door is going to be on that side so you can tell getting ideas um i'm nowhere near sort of the bathroom position on the self build as you will see on sunday we're miles away uh, had a bit of a, a nightmare five steps backwards sort of a, a theme um, but still trying to it, it gives us now a good idea a good time to sort of get all the different ideas into our head and think about what we're going to be doing 2015 swift elegance 530 is the next one up i think this is going to be about 15995 nice nice four berth van this one um, got the corian worktops as well so a really high spec van um which i'll show you more details in a second the wind the wind has been horrendous i don't know whether you saw that caravan flying over on the news in staffordshire the other day but the wind has been absolutely horrendous but this is the sort of on the same lines as the the better cars so you just get that higher spec your normal alarm system uh, solar panels all all of the the normal stuff but then you get speakers in the bathroom you've got the extractor fan the nicer corian worktops as i say and then they are quite a heavy van these but again it's it's sort of uh, it's a bit more luxurious and then next up then we've got a got the swift celeste so that's just come in i don't think we've really seen that properly yet i can't remember whether i'd um i did a video of that that was the other caravan that uh had from jason we're going to be looking at in the in the motorhome so i'll come to that last making our way we've got quite a lot in at the minute uh, a good amount of stock back in now again so uh got the little base camp six still the celeste so this is 18995 2018 and that wind's still absolutely 
battering us at the minute. So this has got the nice island bed in it. Really nice. This was a special edition, and I can't remember whether I showed you the external locker. It's got like an external TV locker on this. Um, I can't remember. We have we've got the solar panel as well on the roof, the extractor in over the kitchen. We've got the Aldi Central heating, and then our nice fixed bed that slides out, and then our washroom at the back a nice big separate shower and toilet so uh, as i was saying before this is the sort of um configuration i'm going to try and do on the lorry but more on the side uh, so i just need to figure out how that's gonna can actually work uh, i think gene is inside of the um the static so we'll have a quick look in there while it's open um now these you've got uh, a choice of a few different sites um, three or four different sites that you can put these on from about 25 grand uh, oh you taking over the camera we've got a so nice, we've you? got it's lovely isn't it it's very very nice um, i knew I'd, I'd i'd not really said anything i didn't want to sort of put ideas in your head uh, but it's lovely isn't it yeah this big window at the end is gorgeous it's uh, it's nice um I'm impressed at like, the finish of it. Yeah, stuff inside. yeah. It's well, so much bigger inside than... It, it looks, outside. yeah, it doesn't... It, it looks a lot roomy, doesn't it? And again, you, did you see you got your own suite? Yeah, I know. I can't believe you're in an Yeah. And all the lights and everything. Yeah. Nice you've, wood. you've not seen the fire. I did a separate video on this, so we sort of did a video that went quickly over it. it was, again, it was just me doing it. Um, but I'd said in that about all, like, the the fixtures and fittings you've yeah. got the proper sort of um the proper hob on there and everything the flame effect on the on the fire you didn't see that did you no. so uh, yeah really really nice um i don't know whether no i don't think they do sometimes some of these beds will turn into another bed but i don't think they do yeah and um, we've just got storage underneath of these so you've got a bit of storage, same on the other one as well. So, um, But they don't turn into another bed. But you could actually use it as two smaller single beds, couldn't you, if you've got like sort of smaller kids with you. But yeah, very, very nice. Um, your built-in fridge. I I was I, exactly the same as you. Uh, I was, oh, I don't know about this static business. And then they came in, I was like, oh, yeah. this is lovely. Yeah. So, um... Just like the oak effect, just makes it feel really sort of farmhousey, doesn't it? And not just, like a caravan. Yeah, just making sure no one's used the toilet. Uh, <laughs> we, try, we try to make sure that this is kept locked, uh, because unfortunately... Isn't that? Yeah, so... Oh, um, it's not those ones. It's Listen to the wind, I was just saying about the wind. So yeah, this is really, really nice. 58, uh, let me turn the wind off. Uh, 58,995, fully sighted this one. But um, from about 25 grand up. Oh, I don't even know if I've been with you and you have been getting carried away. Well, <laughs> doesn't really make any difference. Uh, little singles in there. You can't change that round. That is the configuration. I'd originally thought, oh, I wonder if you could make that into another double. But because of that unit in the middle, I don't think you could sort of put the two beds together and use it as a double. Uh, but yeah, lovely. Uh, lovely, lovely van. Um, it's not a van. It is now. It is now. But yeah, all the finishes is, is very, very nice. Um, self build. Um, quite like these colors. you were sort of on about a, a, a slightly more of a gray of that weren't you yeah, really far off that thing. yeah it's quite quite nice Very isn't it um so yeah i've been trying to get more ideas as we've been going around even though we're nowhere near for the self build the really yes yeah just little details like that make a big difference don't they yeah so yeah do like this a lot um, we haven't looked in the, we've looked in the Celeste, I'd mentioned about the, the little box for your TV. Um, so in here, if you've got your awning on, we've got a 230 volt socket, an aerial point, and then a TV bracket, so that'll come out. So that's um, 
just some of these Swift Celeste, they put those on and it was nice, nice feature. We've got the eldest. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We've got the eldest Affinity 554 2022. Another nice one. Yeah. It's nice. So again, um, it's not it's not seeing a lot of use at all. This. No. Um, so. Uh, yeah, I do I do like this. Again, you've got your Aldi Central heating, all your normal bits and bobs, you, you sort of, like yeah, that's that's nice in those. So that one has just come in. The motorhome, we've still not been in the motorhome, so we've saved the motorhome to last. A really, really nice layout. The only thing I don't like, which I'll show you when we're in there, is you sort of walk through the shower, don't you? Yeah, true, true. Um, I'll put so you've not got the lights on yet. So I'll put some lights on. This blinking wind is horrendous. Uh, I was here for ages pressing the, the actual light itself instead of the light button earlier, which wasn't the, the thing to really do. Oh, I didn't see that. Um, so we've got a nice big fridge freezer. Uh, the combined sort of oven and grill and everything at the top there. We've got our seat belts, so it's proper four travelling seat belts. The both passenger and driver seats swivel round as well. Um, this has also got, I think it's got the air suspension. Little, oh, yeah, I can see some little dials. There, yeah, so the, that's for the, um, the air suspension. Yeah, that'll be for the air suspension. Oh, yeah. um, we've got a little gas monitor here as well, so that'll tell us how much gas that we've got in the in the bottles. Um, the bed oh, for the top, there was a bed up there. and then this will come down. Obviously, we'd move our backrests off of there, and we've got a ladder as well. So we've got a proper bed up the top here. You've got your sunroof in there as well, so it lets in quite a lot of light once we open that. Um, so yeah, just moving the cushions, and that comes up and down nice and easily. So and then that still make Bed Locks. As well on the it can do, yeah, with the table, but um, again, you're going to want to probably use that bed instead of making this one up. I suppose if you're smaller kids and you didn't want to keep making or pulling that up and down and you just wanted the room, you could make that up, couldn't you? But I think when you've got that, it's easier. I like that door into the bathroom. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I'm yeah. Sure I should like to take a picture of it. Yeah, I've that's that uh, a and nice. Little, um, divider thing by the kitchen on the sink nice. now this is it's a cracking cracking layout because you can sort of divide the the toilet off so you've got your door that sort of divides the the toilet off and you can do that from the bedroom um, toilet sort of set into the corner nice big hand bowl in the middle shower and the toilet side isn't really an issue um i quite this, this is fine, you just throw, you've got your storage in the floor compartments. But on that side, you have to walk through the shower, don't you? And I'm, I'm just being fussy. Um, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. There's not really any walking space around. No, you've shower. got to, you've got to, and I know that they've put that in there, but it just feels like you're in the shower, you're in bed, you're in the shower, you're out of bed. Um, so, I don't... I don't know. You can use the little side over here with like uh, a little vanity cupboard oh, so yeah. that folds down so that you can't see yourself in the mirror. Um, you can just pretend to have a poo, I suppose. I don't, I don't know what that's for. Um, I could understand if the mirror swung round and I'm not sure. It's when you've had enough of the kids and you go and sit and hide. And yeah, you, you just, you don't really, don't really need the toilet, but you're like, it's a bit comfier than the toilet. That's, uh, that nice. works, that works quite well. Ooh. That's the only thing I can sort of think um, that that would be for. Yeah. I really don't know. Um, loads of storage. You got the storage all in the in the little bits in the floor, yeah. in the back there. Um, so lots of little sort of cubby holes, which we're going to have a real good look. Make sure no one's left any money in because it's normally those little cubby holes that you forget about. Um, I like the kitchen shape as well. Yeah. In the kitchen. Yeah, it's. Um, 
a good good size um that sort of just then doubles up if you're not using the sink you've got a little bit more preparation area so that works quite nicely but yeah like nice motor home 66995 2017 i can't remember what the mileage was now uh, i think it's about 15 16 000, something like that so not horrendous mileage so yeah that pretty much wraps up this week finishing up on the motorhome and um, we've got more stuff hopefully for the next week a few more part exchanges over at garden village again check out the website for everything that's just come in a uh, fair bit and then as a sunday's video as i say we're going to hopefully be looking at where we've got to on the build what went disastrously wrong are we back up to speed um and just trying to get back on track with that so hopefully we're moving forwards with that as well so um thanks for watching we'll see you next week uh, if you've not already hit the subscribe button hit the like button drop us a comment thanks for watching i'm mark at the caravan place <laughs>